things, and I'm just trying to go through quite a bit of, of, of programs, but some of the things that, that, that we do have, we have adult athletics as well. I mentioned some of the other ones. We have youth athletics. We have tennis tournaments. As you all know, Mackey Park, you know, it's a beautiful tennis facility that we're now um, in the process of adding more tournaments, and, and we have a great program. We partner with Tennis Valdosta and, and many other programs as well to, to have great tennis facilities. We, we're very fortunate to have a beautiful facility like we have here today at Mackey Park. But one of the things that I wanted to also mention to you, some of the exciting new projects that are currently going on or have currently we've just finished that you all need to know and, and need to know that um, our board, authority board members, if it were not for those folks, they, they work very hard. It's a volunteer position. They don't get paid one dime for that. They're, I will tell you, they're the hardest working group. I've, I've, ever, I've been in the business 17 years, and, and they just do a tremendous job as far as dedication of making sure we have good quality of life programs and services here. But some of the, pro, some of the projects that we're currently um, completed in last budget year, we had a grand opening for the picnic pavilion at Langdale Park. Um, so that was one of the, the first, the ribbon cuttings that I, I made when I came. My first day on the job here was April 1st, so I've been here just less than a year. So, but that was completed of around in, in June. Um, some of the other excited, I don't know if you all saw the newspaper here about a week ago, is we're in the process right now of renovating the 19 baseball, softball fields here in our county. Um, we have eight fields at Freedom Park. We have seven fields at Volaton Park, and we've got four at South Lounge. And we're in the process of doing some overdue maintenance and repair as far as laser grading these fields. And the and there's 19 total fields to get, you know, there's build up from the years, and we're looking at adding clay. We're doing just getting these fields prepared so they're safer to play on and that we can host more um, major tournaments that, you know, when it – sprinkles we're not having a rain out so the folks that are working on our um, the laser gradient are the same people that are that do Turner Field in Atlanta the same people that do all the Disney wide world of sports Disney fields down in Orlando um, Florida Marlins the pit I mean they they're they're very they're doing a great job for us and you all would be you know be proud of you know the process that we've got there but so that is um, one of the major projects, but one of the things that we've had to do, you know, obviously this is not a, a cheap process. It, it is a costly when you're looking at trying to do these fields, but I will tell you with the talents that we have currently on our team at Parks and Rec, we've got folks from the athletics division, from the maintenance division that are doing, going out there and, and just doing wonders with, with getting the field, the sod cut and putting the grass down and just doing you know, just doing major overhauls and working with us on these renovations. We wouldn't be able to do all this work and get this laser company here and other, you know, clay. We're having to get the clay from a little north of here. There's not really that good 70, 30 clay mix down in south Georgia. So we're, we're able to, we're having to get some clay to come in that way to, to work. But so we're able to um, do all this by using our talents that's on the team. So we have some just, I will tell you, just the staff that's really going above and beyond to make sure this